Hello friends, I am Dr. Sachin Kuber and uh, I am uh, from circumcision-clinic.in, Pune, India. So today I want to discuss few of the commonly asked questions uh, that comes in every man's mind for the issues with their uh, penis, for skin and other related issues. So I have made a list of pointers and I will uh, discuss about uh, those issues in details with you so that you can understand and you can take the decision according to you uh, some uh, few tips from my side. So first question uh, that I get is when can I have sex after circumcision? So sexual intercourse after circumcision surgery is uh, not advised for 45 days or 6 weeks. After the 6 weeks you can slowly start having uh, the sexual intercourse with the help of condom and after 3-4 attempts uh, you can go with normal without uh, condom intercourse uh, with the lubricants. Number 2 question is how will it affect the sensitivity of the glass penis or the penis. Will it create any problems during uh, the sexual intercourse. So the important thing here is in our uh, clinic what we practice is a safe surgery or uh, we uh, call it as sensitive surgery. Uh, here what we do is we do not cut the inner sensitive mucosa of the foreskin and as well as we preserve or protect the frenulum which is at the below part of the glass penis and the inner sensitive mucosa is not cut in our specialty surgery. So it will not affect your sensitivity at all. The normal intercourse as well as orgasm is possible with the help of the newest ZSR or Alice Clamp circumcision surgery. Next question, uh, will this circumcision affect my urination? The answer is no. Uh, we are only removing the foreskin and we are not touching the part from where you pass the urine. That hole or the urinary meatus is completely preserved. It is not damaged so that uh, normal passing of urine is possible. But uh, let me tell you for few uh, weeks, uh, say two weeks uh, or three weeks, you may have the splash of urine for few days. After that, normally the complete stream of urine will be established according to our information. Next is what is circumcision revision? So uh, this is very important question and what happens is uh, people usually do circumcision in their childhood or some adults do there in their teenage. But Due to traditional surgery uh, by cutting by scissors and putting on uh, the stitches produces an ugly scar and it involves very important nerves. Because of that, that scar becomes painful at the uh, glance penis and it creates problem in the uh, sexual intercourse or it is a painful intercourse or the women may complain that there is a painful or rubbing scar on the penis. So for this problem people who are not happy with the appearance of their penis we designed a revision circumcision. What happens is we uh, excise the bad scar and completely seal it with the help of a sealant so that uh, there is no ugly scars there are no stitches and uh, the recovery is completely painless and you will get a uniform looking scar which is not painful. All the bad nerve endings are removed uh, and the normal ones are preserved so that there will be no pain after the revision circumcision. Next question is uh, when can I join office after circumcision? So there are five methods with which we do circumcision. First is basic circumcision, next is advanced circumcision, third is cosmetic circumcision, fourth is uh, the Alice clamp circumcision and fifth is ZSR circumcision. So these five types are different. First three are surgical circumcisions. So 
it involves the cutting of the foreskin with the help of scissors and putting on stitches so these three types basic advanced and cosmetic will require uh, at least two days of rest at home so that uh, accidental trauma and bleeding chances are not there but the story is completely different with other stitchless methods like uh, the uh, very important alice clamp and zsr these two circumcision methods we do are completely mobile friendly so the patients immediately get recovery they can start working on the same day no rest is required no rest is required so that uh, if, if the person is very busy and if he wants to join office he can join office on the same day uh, no rest at home is required next question uh, what happens if i get uh, an erection of the penis at night or day during the healing period after circumcision this is a common question uh, let me clear few doubts uh, every man can get erections during the day time and completely at night time so this is completely natural phenomena we cannot um, ignore it so many times patients report that they get painful situations during the erections so Uh, at our circumcision center what we do is we give a proper medication to stop the erections for 10 to 15 days after the surgery so these medications will prevent erections during the day as well as night and you can sleep uh, peacefully at night without having trouble of pain uh, on erection so this is uh, taken well care of by our uh, experts at the time of surgery so nothing to worry about the pain uh, during erections at night or during the day next question is i am traveling out of town do i need to stay overnight so uh, let me tell you that the methods uh, which are uh, i just told you that basic advanced and cosmetic these are surgical methods and these involve cutting of the foreskin with the help of scissors and putting stitches so if this kind of surgery has been done then you will have to stay one day at least in pune city uh, at our uh, clinic or nearby hotel in our uh, area but if you have uh, if you have done the alice clamp or zsr circumcision then really there is no need to stay overnight in pune city you can really go uh, on the same day to your home city even after alice clamp or even after the uh, zsr circumcision you can easily go because there is no bleeding there is no pain and there is no stitches so there is no chance of any issue that might come up even if you leave pune city so it is completely safe to travel to your city uh, from pune city next question uh is pre surgery blood test are required so according to indian medical law the test needs to be done before surgery usually uh the tests are recommended for giving local anesthesia as well as uh, screening of hiv or hbsg or any other diseases uh, for the safety of the patient as well as the doctor but Uh, for surgical circumcisions it is a mandatory thing uh, and if you want to do the alice clamp and zsr circumcision then these uh, tests are just nominal few tests uh, minimal tests are required but those are required according to the medical law next question is there any age limit uh, for doing circumcision or related procedures the answer is no uh, this circumcision is very very safe let me repeat very very safe at any stage of life so even if it is a newborn child uh, a toddler or a young boy or a teenage boy or middle age person or an old age person say from 0 to 100 years we can do circumcision at any point of life without any problems next question is circumcision safe during the hot season or the summer season uh, or should we wait and do this circumcision in winter season when the atmosphere is cold see 
uh, one thing I tell you that the foreskin of the penis is amazing healing capacity. So even if you do circumcision in summer months, it will heal faster. Even if you do it in cold uh, season, then also it will heal faster because uh, recent research shows that the foreskin has amazing healing capacity. So uh, you are assured that every circumcision will heal in every season. The next question, uh, how is the procedure done? <coughs> the circumcision procedure is done uh, according to uh, the choice of uh, method or the choice of the uh, modality that patient has chosen. Suppose the patient has chosen the basic advance or cosmetic surgical facility. Then uh, the blood tests are done. After the blood test, we give the note for admission in the hospital. Uh, the admission in case of basic advanced cosmetic surgical circumcision is around 4 hours. Uh, you will be taken to operation theater. Our anesthetist doctor will give a uh, painless injection to uh, the penis to give anesthesia. After the effect of anesthesia is complete, we do the circumcision in around 25 to 35 minutes. Total time required inside operation theater is 45 minutes. And after that, two or three hours, you have to take rest at home. Uh, two uh, sorry, uh, two or three hours at the hospital, and then you will be discharged. You can go home. But if you choose uh, the ZSR or Alice Clam method, then the uh, procedure till anesthesia is the same. Uh, the anesthesia is given, and the installation of Alice Clam or deployment of ZSR is done. This procedure takes around 10 minutes and after 10 minutes you will be shifted to ward. One hour you have to stay in the hospital and then you can go home. So this is very simple. Next question. Am I awake during the procedure? The answer is yes. You will be awake. Only the injectionless or painless anesthesia is given by our anesthetist doctor in the penis. Few injections are given. Those are hardly noticeable and you will be awake we will be talking with you while doing surgery and after surgery you are walking to your bed so it is very simple next question is are there benefits of circumcision the answer is yes there are benefits so the boys and the men who are, have circumcised uh, they uh, reduce the risk of hiv or other problems also penis cancer is not there the hygiene is well maintained so please visit our website circumcision-clinic.in for more details and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.